Hi, my name is Jay Wengro, and I'd like to introduce my new book, A Common Sense Guide to Data Structures and Algorithms. So what exactly is an algorithm? Let's say we have these playing cards on the table, and I wanted to put them in the correct order, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. As a human, we can easily intuitively do this, but how do I tell a computer to do it? That literal set of instructions is called an algorithm. Let's talk about a specific algorithm called bubble sort. While bubble sort is not an algorithm typically used in production, it serves as a great starter algorithm that serves as a foundation for understanding computer algorithms in general. With bubble sort, we accomplish the sorting through several rounds. Each round is called a pass-through. In each pass-through, we do the following set of instructions. We look at the two numbers all the way at the left end of the cards. So we're going to look at the 5 and the 2. The way it works is that if the two numbers relative to each other are not in the correct order, then we swap them. So here, since we want the 2 to be to the left of the 5 instead of to its right, that means that the 5 and the 2 are out of order, so we swap them. We then move to the next card over. That means we're going to inspect this card with this card, the 5 and the 4. The 5 and the 4 are also out of order, so we swap them. Then we move on to the next set, 5 and 6. 5 and 6 are in the correct order. The 5 should be to the left of the 6, so we move on. We're now up to the 6 and 7. The 6 and 7 are also in the correct order, so we move to the 7 and the 3. The 7 and the 3 are not in the correct order, so we swap them. We have now gone through the first pass-through of our cards. Every time you go through a pass-through, that means that the card on the rightmost end is known to be in the correct spot. Intuitively, we can see that the 7 reached the proper end. In order to indicate that the 7 is in the right spot, we're going to replace it with a red card. The red card means that, that the number is in the correct spot. We now begin the second pass-through of bubble sort. So we start again at the beginning with the 2 and the 4. The 2 and the 4 are in the correct order relative to each other, so we move to the 4 and the 5. They're also in the right order, so we move on. 5 and 6, they're in the right order as well. So we move on to the 6 and the 3. The 6 and the 3 are not in the correct order, so we swap them. By the time we get through this pass-through, that means that the number on the rightmost end, besides the ones that have already been sorted, this number is now also in its correct spot. So we're going to replace it with a red card. The 6 and 7 are now properly sorted. We now begin again. The 2 and the 4, they're in the correct order. The 4 and the 5, also in the correct order. The 5 and the 3, they're not in the correct order, so we swap them. Now that we're done with the third pass-through, that means that the 5 is in the correct spot, so we're going to make it red. We now begin again. 2 and the 4, in the right order. 4 and the 3, not in the right order, so we swap them. We're done with this pass-through because we hit the red cards, so the 4 is now also in the correct order. In the final pass-through, we see the 2 and the 3. They're in the correct order, so we do nothing. We're now up to the final pass-through. We see the 2 and the 3. They're in the correct order, so there's nothing to swap. So we finish this pass-through. That means that the 3 is in the correct order, and since there's only one number left, the 2 also has to be in the correct order. And now our numbers are in the correct order. If you find this stuff interesting and want to know what it can do to make your code faster and more efficient, check out A Common Sense Guide to Data Structures and Algorithms.